Today, we are going to talk about the concept of alternation of generations with a focus on angiosperms or flowering plants. This is part one of a five part series. The alternation of generations is a phrase that describes the life cycle of a plant. The life cycle of a plant is divided into two phases a sexual phase and a growth phase. Because this is a cycle, you can start at any point, but we are going to start with the sexual phase. The goal of the sexual phase is to produce gametes. Gametes are male and female sex cells that combine in pairs to form a zygote, or fertilized egg. The male gamete is called a microspore, and the female gamete is called a megaspore. They are collectively referred to as spores. In angiosperms, the male and female gametes fuse together and eventually form a seed. This seed begins the growth phase. The new plant grows from the seed and matures until it can produce sex organs. When the sex organs form, the sexual phase can begin again and the cycle is completed. In plants, the sexual phase is called the gametophyte phase and the sexual organs are called the gametophytes. The growth phase is called the sporophyte phase, and the rest of the plant, everything excluding the gametophytes, is called a sporophyte. We'll now identify the gametophytes and the sporophyte on a flower. Here we see the side view of your typical flower. The male gametophyte is found within this part of the plant, called the anther. The female gametophyte is found in this part of the plant, and is called the ovary. In summary, the gametophytes of the flower are the anther and the ovary, and their job is to produce gametes. The rest of the plant, or the plant in growth phase, is called the sporophyte. The sporophyte's job is to produce the anther and ovary so it can reproduce. Let's take a look at an actual flower for reference. This is a lily, and I'll outline the anthers in black. Now I'll outline the approximate location of the ovary. The ovule within the ovary hosts the female gamete. I'll now give you a 10 second summary of what we've learned. Each stage in the cycle exists to create something that perpetuates the next stage. The gametophyte creates gametes that fuse to form the seed. The sporophyte grows a plant which can support the sex organs. Thank you for watching this video on the alternation of generations with a focus on angiosperms. The next part will go into more detail into the cycle and the production of gametes. The script for this video can be found in the description below. Thank you!